All right, so uh, the Epic 2015, man, my beard is insane, isn't it? The Epic 2015 adventure begins here at the uh, gas station down the street. I just got ice, uh, a cold monster, and I'm locked and loaded and ready to go. So I will give you a quick tour of the inside of the car. You're gonna give me all kinds of hell because it's ridiculous, but you know what? It's car camping, so I brought the kitchen sink, all right? First off, I'm cruising in a, uh, I guess it's a 2014 Jeep Patriot. It's all black. It's actually pretty sick looking. I've got what I'm gonna need to camp at Mr. Jeff Courtney's place up in the front seat. My fishing poles, here's my bucket, and, uh, the rest is, <laughs> is packed out, man. It's crazy, but I don't give a crap. I brought everything I could. I actually have a whole lot of wood back there, so that's what you're seeing. Uh, the majority of the room's taken up by some oak, but uh, anyways, just wanted to show you the uh, ridiculousness that's going on in here, and uh, this is probably all that I actually need, that and some clothes, but I brought everything I had, so um, I'm super excited. Beep, beep goes the Jeep, let's rock. Well, good morning to you. It is uh, Tuesday, and uh, it's a little past 6.30. I got on the road just a little before six, so I'm uh, in Tennessee, about uh, 90 miles away from uh, from Nashville. So, still trying to wake up a little bit. Uh, had some real, it sounded like it at least, uh, nasty storms coming through last night. And uh, I'm in the Jackson area couple of uh lightning and thunder strikes that woke me up so um everything's pretty much soaking wet here there's water in the drainage ditches and everything and um as much as i hate it because i got plenty plenty wet on that kayak trip with justin and travis it looks like i'm headed to more rain so where uh where my buddy jeff jeff lives is in uh jackson ohio and uh they're projected to experience flash flooding from now until wednesday so it's like an 80 percent chance so i'm gonna have to uh keep that in mind when it comes to setting up camp and wood and all your gear and stuff trying to try to keep it off the ground if it's not waterproof um i don't know i might uh i might use the uh the tarp that comes with with the uh the hammock and then up above that string up my big uh 10 by 10 oil cloth so i don't know we'll have to see i'll have to see what, what the layout is but just wanted to check in with you all. Uh, it's nice and foggy and the sun's coming up here and it's just uh, just me and the road. So we'll uh, keep you updated and uh, bring you along with all the fun. So. got winds and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Mount over. Mr. Jeff Courtney and I are having a good old time. <laughs> hey, a little wet. We're getting just a little bit, <laughs> we're getting just a little bit of water. 
I mean, it, I don't know if you can see the puddles over there. Everything out here was dry when we got here, pretty much. And it's all soaking wet now, and it's probably only been raining not even 15 minutes, 10 minutes. So I guess this is uh, this is my first taste of Ohio. If it ain't raining, it ain't training, right? So uh, hope, <laughs> hopefully this doesn't last too much longer. Uh, if it's an all night thing, we might be in for something special here. So we'll keep, uh, <laughs> here, just, just watch this. You ready? I just did that not even two minutes ago. <laughs> so we're having a blast. It's raining again. So all we can do is sit underneath this big ass tarp. There's the patch. See it? And just hope this is actually uh, the first rain we've had since we got up this morning. So uh, it sucks because we thought <laughs> we were done with this shit. And uh, it's raining, so we're gonna have to figure out something to do so we don't get stir crazy. We've drank enough coffee that we're wired up and ready to go, but there's nothing we can do now. Um, I suppose we could go walk around out in the rain, but drying off would be a problem. Our fire's hanging in there, but we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just wait it out. It should be clearing up here soon, um, and I don't think we're We've got real low percentage rain for the rest of the time that we're here until we head out for the, the gathering at Hillsboro. So uh, we'll just keep riding it out and hopefully this uh, this will stop. Hippie John's coming tonight, supposedly. Um, he said he was going to get on the road at 5 a.m. So he will be here at 5 p.m. if he doesn't stop or go to any flea markets or antique stores and do some picking. But uh, once it stops raining, I'll actually uh, take you around and show you around camp and uh, what we've got going here. And then uh, the party will get started once, uh, once the old hippie gets here. So as for now, do a rain dance for us and make this crap stop because we're tired of it. So I'm just walking around and picking these blackberries are everywhere and they're so good I mean it's crazy how many of them there are the bigger ones aren't quite as tart those are small ones you'll find some that are huge you know they tend to taste a lot better here's a good one see mm. so good oh, here's some good ones you can literally just Gorge yourself on these. Oh, that one, <laughs> that one was real good. It's awesome. Definitely don't have this in Texas. So, Ohio, thank you for this. I've just been having a blast. We've been, look at that, just fell off. Mm. We've just been hanging out and raining a whole lot, so we haven't been able to do near as much as what we want to. But it's fine. Had some good times hanging out under the tarp and carving stuff and 
play on fire and I mean look at this look at how many there are Just make yourself sick hey you can't eat too many of these can you Well, how well how well is your uh, wilderness first aid? Pretty good. Well, you're gonna need to take care of me. So I've been eating about a hundred of them. All right, so uh, both Jeff and I just uh, applied uh, our first ever application of the bug shot on us. Um, we haven't had any mosquitoes, any kind of ticks or anything like that, but, um, I'm thinking since everything's so wet, we're underneath this big canvas tarp and it's dry. There are flies everywhere. We don't have a lot of food, none of that stuff. It just seems like they're trying to get out from under the, the rain like we are. Um, so we applied it on our arms, uh, probably a, an amount that is really about dime, less than a dime size. Put it on our face, on our neck, our ears, and all that. Um, right off the bat, we both said that you get some tingling around your uh, your eyebrows. Um, I have a little bit here under my neck. Um, I'm normally pretty sensitive to stuff around my neck here, though. I get uh, when I get real hot, my neck turns red and all that. I kind of break out there, so that's that's nothing new. Um, my ears too. My ears are feeling a little bit, but instantly within putting this on, there are no flies around me. No flies around you, right? Yep. Um, I'm looking at a couple of flies here on his watch coat that are buzzing around his watch coat, and they were all over me. They're all over the cooler over here, um, and they're leaving me alone. One literally just buzzed by me, and went straight to his watch coat over here. There's three of them now. Okay, so that was pretty cool. I just uh, I just put my hand near a fly and he zoomed by me. And when I move my hand near him, he goes away. So he doesn't want anything to do with my hand. See, look at that. I don't know if you're seeing that. But uh, we'll give it a shot. You know, I'll uh, I'll let this work for a little bit, and we'll uh, let you know what's happening after this. So, first impressions. I mean, the flies are, are leaving me alone, so that's good. Look out for Bigfoot. <laughs> Got a big foot here. Thought I heard something running off over there. They have. I can't remember. On women, not on us. Okay. <laughs> But, you know, he, he was naming off the colors he liked. I'm like, yeah, I like green and black, and uh depends on their skin tone. Well, I hesitated before I said on their skin tone, and in his mind, he was thinking depends. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and whenever I said on their skin tone, I might like red, he started laughing. He's like, man, I'm so glad you finished that sentence. <laughs> I'm about to start talking about that gas station over there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I need the abs and I need a good fro. I've got a fro. I have to find one. Hand force one. I was probably made the points. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah.
right, so Bert and Brew, get your pot full of water. Two of these bad boys. And your Nest Cafe. You mind holding this for a second? Don't show me my underwear. Come on, man. That's a sight everybody needs to see at least once. You know. Oops. A little bit extra love in there. Stuff. Please note the precise measurements involved in this. Trace. And then you know it's ready because it's going to boil out of the spout. You don't take it off until it does that. And you're good to go. Bert and Bert. Alright, so we've got a possible nasty storm coming in with high winds and stuff and we've all been running around like rabbits uh getting stuff ready and trying to get stuff locked down um got the two tarps over the hammock mine's dropped down pretty low and then uh jeff has his big rain fly dropped all the way down he's got a hennessy safari deluxe and Mr. John Gandy, there he is in his prime and glory. <laughs> There's the poop shovel. Um, has got his stuff over here to, with the oil skin. And uh, he's going to be adding some stuff to tie it down. He's got a, it's a really cool hammock actually. It's like a, it's a Ridge Runner type hammock. But, uh, but it's made by Eureka. So... Hopefully, when it uh, when it stops dumping rain on us, if we can get a little bit of a break, we'll get uh, we'll get John to uh, pull that oil skin off, and we'll take a good look at that that hammock. It's really cool. I've never uh, seen a one by Eureka that's made like that. It's it's really similar to to a Ridge Runner. And then we've got the ten by ten oil skin flying. We got a little squall wall sidewall up here. And all of our junk. So, got the hatches battened down, ready for whatever this bitch of Mother Nature is going to throw at us. So, blue skies and sun right now. Solar panels are charging right so, now. <laughs> solar panels are charging. Mother Nature's being a pretty dame, but she's soon going to turn to an old bitch that doesn't do that funky shit. Well, a lot of it is. I've worked for these guys, like the one place is a lumber company. I worked yeah. there 13 years. I know when they're putting the good pallets out because the guy in the lumber yard calls me up and says, we're putting out a pile of good pallets. I run right over and I snag all the good shit. Yeah, tent poles. That's metal. Just ram it up in there, dude. Do you have an extra pair? There's some over there. Hippie John's camp is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all kinds of shit, man. All right. Let's yeah. see what we can do. We'll follow Hippie John. He'll show you all kinds of shit over all there. Right, Don't get lost. He'll come back. Hippie John. I don't know. change his Facebook name to that. <laughs> oh, that's good. Peel it up. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we got a blow tube. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's an air mattress. Oh yeah, it's a forger. I'm about. We're about to Jamie Burley forge some coon traps and shit. Getting cold. Yeah, my feet aren't toasty anymore, man. What's going down? Ram it in there. Shave it. Here we go. <laughs> That shit works, dude. You got, is it leaking any around the nozzle? Oh, there we go. Fire in the hole. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this.
This is how we get fired. <laughs> Pete, can, Pete can shove that pole down his leg. <laughs> put that thing in his pocket and be like, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. I'll bring a loop floor next year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is nothing. That is not like the class. Yeah, I miss yeah. those. It's not quite like it. Crank it up. No, I'm gonna <laughs> get enough of it. I'm gonna work on a little tip down moment when you guys put a bomber Here. on top of the fire. Give me some white. <laughs> no, this was back when like Greg and then white. Uh, oh, yeah, trim it up. Uh, what's his oh name? man, you are destroying it. Uh, who was the one before Reagan? Uh, Carter. Like on Carter. Carter, yeah. Carter. Like Carter yeah, and Reagan and whoever, whoever was president. Yeah. Carter. Carter. And, uh, the time. Whichever movie stars nobody liked at the time. Or, you know, <laughs> I don't Carter. I don't wake my shit right there. It wasn't just the president. There's all kinds of motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> car.